All right, guys, this is a video to show you how to cook a striper steak. So I have an egg here, cornstarch, salt, and vinegar. So I have this uh, uh, striper that I caught the other day. I already cut it in about, um, I think it's about half an inch or three quarter inch each. Okay. Okay, first of all, let's uh, drain out all the blood water so these are all bloody water toss it up okay so now so all the striper steak is here looking pretty I've cleaned out the guts and everything all clean but I would like to get rid of some of the uh, muddy taste from the fish so I'll put a little bit of vinegar just to wash it With your salt, generously, this is just to wash it, it's not marinate. Okay, now you need to rub them together. Instead of vinegar, you can use lemon, anything acidic. Um, citrus usually work very good, so lemon. It's easy to find, easy to access to. Uh, use lemon. If not, vinegar will work just fine. Of course, with vinegar, you need to be a little bit careful because um, if you put too much vinegar, it's almost like you pickle the fish. Yeah, um, these are very cloudy water. These are all the uh, fish, um, like all the muddy taste, all the blood that came out from the meat. Now it's getting wider. You can tell. Drain the water out. Okay, now I have rinsed the fish. And now let's uh, marinate the fish a little bit. Not really marinate, we season it. So I'll put some salt to season it. Pepper. Okay, I always like to use a little bit of um, cayenne pepper, just a little. It brings out the taste beautifully. And if you want, you can always use uh, some MSG and uh, chicken powder if you want to. If you don't want to, just the way it is is fine. And then later on, just put some egg and uh, make it stick so that it can attach to the cornstarch. Like the, you can easily coat the fish with cornstarch okay let's take an egg crack it here So after you put the egg in there, just go ahead and rub them together. Of course, you need to drain the fish pretty well before you put the egg, coat it with the egg and the cornstarch. <clears throat> Otherwise, it won't stick as well. Okay, since this is a lot of fish, this is about two to two and a half pound fish. So I will just fry a few pieces for you just to demo in this video but this is very nice size uh, freshwater striper um, you get striper in salt water as well uh, freshwater striper tend to be a little bit more on the muddy um, it can get muddy taste depends on the fish I guess so uh, but if you cook it well it tastes just fine okay a lot of time the belly meat is the part that get a little uh, muddy fishy other than that um, it's a very good meat for table fare okay all right 
Now we mix it just fine. Actually, the extra water that came off of the fish and the egg, I'm just gonna drain it out too. I probably didn't do a very good job to drain out all the, uh, the water out of the fish just now because I was trying to do everything with one hand, but you get a point, okay? Okay, guys, over here, so I'll go ahead and get the, the oil and the pan started. This is gonna be a, a pan fry, between pan fry and deep fry because I don't plan to use too much of the oil, but I will uh, try to cover at least 80-90% of the fish when I fry it. So after it's crispy, nice and crispy, I'll turn it over. So just generously pour in the oil. Okay. And this is, uh, I only use about what, 20-30% uh, of the oil. This is Great Valley vegetable oil for only like what, 2 $3. Okay, warm the oil until like 350 degree. Usually I'd like to put my hand on the top to feel the temperature. If you have been cooking for a while, you know what temperature is right for deep fry. When it's ready, you will know with your hand, okay? Okay, we are back here with the fish, okay? I have drained out the excess. Uh, see, more water is coming out. Uh, it's hard to avoid sometimes. I should have drained it better, but uh, I'm try uh, now we have to coat the fish with uh, cornstarch. You can go ahead and get a lot of cornstarch out. Okay. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and take the steak out. All right, nicely cut. Uh, let's fry four pieces of steak at a time. See how that goes. So the little one can wait. One, two, three. All right, nicely coat it. I'm a Mr. One Arm today, so it's hard to cook with one arm, so excuse me if it's a little slow. Okay, nicely coat it, and make sure you shake off the excess. You don't want the, you don't want the oil, um, you don't want the flour, the cornstarch. I'm using cornstarch, okay? You can use all-purpose flour, but it won't be as crispy, but uh, it works just fine, okay? Okay, the skillet should be ready in a minute, and let's go to the other end of the kitchen, right here. Okay, now the oil is ready, I can fill it with my hand, but uh, another way to try uh, to know is, you can see on the surface of the oil, it's starting to move a little, and you can drop a little bit of the flour, then it will fry right away. Shake off the excess. And here we go. Okay. All right. I'll show you the result in a minute. And I'll fry the rest too. And a lot of time, once the fish is in a walk, turn down the temperature to about 80% or 70%. Because the, the outer layer is already coated. Yep, just cook it for, I'll say, six to eight minutes, just for six. Okay, another thing guys, uh, if you don't want the fish to stick to the bottom, give the wall a little shake. Instead of using the spatula, that way it won't scrap off the crispy part of the fish. All right guys, I don't know if you can hear on the video, listen. Frying the frying pan right now. Put them batch. First batch is out. And uh, from where I come from, cornstarch usually is a go to flour for deep frying. So I don't know if you can hear. They are so crispy. The color might not do its justice, but uh, it's very crispy, okay? And tasteful too. And a lot of time in Chinese dish, they like to make some sauce and put on top of it. Okay, so how to tell if your uh, cooking, is, your deep fry is done. You can hear the sizzling sound has go down. So just take it out. Actually go ahead and turn it off too. Yep. Of course, uh, the regular, the rule of thumb always is uh, golden brown. When you see your fry, uh, your deep fry, Stuff is golden brown. It is ready to go.
Okay, this is what we have. Look. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. This is a deep fry striped bass steak. Easy to make. Doesn't take a lot of time. All right.